Oh, Garjan, you f 300 points. 300 <laughs> points. <laughs> Why? Oh. G'day, I'm Ash. Welcome yourselves to the BF110. I can't remember what variant this one was. We were playing this on live stream. It was just a decent match. Now, I do apologise for not having much content up in the last few days, but kind of been focusing on other areas and it's just a lack of motivation generally speaking that has kept me from really publishing anything and of course that lack of motivation transcends into other areas not to say that i shouldn't be playing war thunder of course i i've been focused on filling out visas and applications for other nations and so on and so forth and you know current world and all sorts of things like that the the, the, the joys of being an adult is not so joyous so it turns out and I mean, that's not necessarily a problem, but when you combine it with just a lack of hours in the day to actually feasibly get things done that you want to, and with certain businesses only being open at certain hours, it does get a bit of a pain when you're trying to lodge application forms to other countries through, you know, certain other avenues. Anyway, the BF110 G6, I believe this thing is called. It's got two tournament admitters. I think it's a bunch of was it four 20 millimeters i don't even know it's got cannons for days 255 rounds of 30 millimeter cannon so this thing just goes for days rule of thumb if you see a bf 110 do not go head on with it that'll be a feature of this particular video you will understand what i mean when you see some of the clips but yeah this thing is fantastic i wasn't expecting it to do so well Obviously the engines overheat a bit and, and we're trying to climb from our interceptor spawn that we spawned at. Still doing 339 kilometers now. We're gaining altitude quite quickly here. The numbers are going up quite fast. Overheating the engines quite a bit. I don't have manual engine control. I was debating whether or not setting it up. The problem with War Thunder, and I hate this the most, you need six different keyboards to play all the different game modes. If you want to be an effective tanker, you have everything mapped out for tanks. But in order to also use some of those other key binds, you need to have extra binds on top of those other binds. So, you know, memorizing key binds is a, is a one hell of an annoying thing, let alone just for radar, radar guided missiles, and then all your other component systems. So, I mean, it can be quite challenging at times. Anyway, I still haven't noticed that I'm overheating my engine. There we go. Pull off the web. Our first target is an A36, and we're going to head directly towards him. No questions asked. I suppose there is a magic to 110s. Forward firing armament is quite decent, and uh, the rear machine gunner can be handy on times. Here we go. Silence knocks out the first guy there, my squad mate. Absolute legend, that thing is. A couple of bursts of the 20 and a couple of the cannons. I must say that the new gun sounds are realistic, but just lacking a little oomph, a little presence. Disappointed at many of the guns uh, not sounding quite as powerful as I once expected. Now, remember what I said about don't going uh, go head on. Yeah, I don't think that P39N got the memo. You ready? You, 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 I'm willing to believe that this P63 also didn't believe that memo. Here we go. All right, that's two kills. Right, who wants a third one? P39N again. I have no idea what's with these guys trying to uh, run away. And didn't quite get the beat on that guy, but that doesn't necessarily matter. I am taking a little bit of fire, not too concerned. Opening up the throttles again. I'm going to pull off. Hopefully my squad mate can get him. Take away the P-40. Yep, P-40's license has been revoked. He's not necessarily a threat anymore. Science manages to nail him. And there's a Corsair up here. Let's see. Is he going to be none the wiser, or is he going to be incredibly stupid? I'm going to lead all these shots. We've got plenty. There we are. Just walk the guns on target, man. There's huge gun pods on the bottom of the aircraft with a huge amount of ammunition. So, you know, there's no reason not to believe that this thing can't do head-ons. Don't go head-on with it. They must think that this thing is incredibly weakly armoured. Again, what do I say? Do not go head-on. Just don't. In fact, that'll probably be the head-on uh, title that I thought I'd you know, call this. Video, at least. Got a P30 and an A36, and they're, well, no more A36 anymore, just the P40 down low. Besides from that, the rest of the team really has to, tr you know, do a little bit harder. You know, me and Silence here have done most of the work here, and it's quite interesting, I must say. Now, I hope that you have been enjoying the content recently, or at least the videos and live streams that I did uh, in, in recent times. 
it's been a bit of a wild ride here. I'm, I'm sort of struggling to, you know, get by on, on a lot of things. I have a hardware failure. One of my hard drives uh, failed. My SSD, actually. My old boot drive containing quite a lot of material. And as a result, I'm set back because I was supposed to uh, release a couple of documentaries on Australian and New Zealand aviation. Obviously, it's the centenary of the Royal Australian Air Force, and I was really hoping to get that out for this year. Worked hard on it the last few years, but unfortunately, as I was backing up footage to another drive, a brand new drive, which I just installed a couple of months ago, yeah, it didn't necessarily go to plan. Now, one tip here is basically engaging everything known to man. He's trying his hardest to kill that P-63. I was going to go gun running, but then I realised, hang on, he's got more guns than me. Let's just take after this P-40F and see what we can do. P-40F is going after one zip and the dirty BV-238, and we're just going to go spray the target. Don't quite have the energy, nor do we lead the target well enough. The P-40 isn't necessarily too smart. There's another P-40, a friendly one, uh, trying to help one tip. One tip ultimately gets the kill on that P-63. Yak-1 comes in to scare the P-40, ultimately does a good job, because now I'm maintaining a bit of energy, and he's going to pull directly out. Now, do we pull directly in towards him, or we'll just level out? Nah, we'll just continue on our course for now. We'll pull round, trying to get in on his inside turn. Unfortunately, this thing isn't necessarily that manoeuvrable. I wonder why. Armed with all those guns and all those cannons. Yeah, this thing can be quite funky. And there it is. The Yak-1 uh, manages to pilot snipe that P-40. But yeah, this machine, don't go head on with it. And now that leaves me with four kills and one tap spinning out of control like a madman he is. Have no idea what happened. I wasn't watching him. Uh, and the P-40 is the only thing that's left aside from one other aircraft, I believe. So we're going to try and get the P-40. That's if he doesn't necessarily plonk himself into the water there. Looks like that is the case. Everybody and their bloody dog is on that P-40 right now. Let's see. Is he going to necessarily get there? Am I going to get there in time before he dies? Uh, the answer is... Yes. There you go. There's the fifth kill. And unfortunately, I plummet into the ground. Good stuff, Ash. Professional pilot. But yeah, while I am sad at the hardware loss, it's really the loss of work that has got me going. So either I continue doing this YouTube thing, or I try and get that data recovered so I can at least publish something this year that will be reasonably, I guess, exciting. So yeah, in a bit of a stuck world here, as that was the, I guess, real reason why I haven't wanted to do videos, or I haven't done as better videos, or I haven't pushed myself, it's because... Well, I put all my effort into those videos, and then I had a hard drive failure. And it is what it is. So, in order to move on, I need suggestions. If there's something you want me to cover, or something you want me to fly, drive, or float, God forbid, uh, that, just let me know in the comments down below. I'll greatly appreciate at least some suggestions, as I was really banking on changing the channel's direction towards something else, which, which again, I'll mention in an update video, which I'll do probably at around the midpoint of, or just the early stages of April, so you, you gotta look forward to that. Anyway, I've got, I've got a couple of other things left to cover, I've got the new attacker, I might have another mouse video, depending on how that goes, but anyway, that's it I guess, thank you very much for watching, my name is Ash, and I'll catch you in the next one, righto.